Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today it is Friday and that means it is Fragrance Friday. I am so excited because today I'm going to be sharing a few of my sort of best end of summer fragrances. If you're like myself and you're not quite ready to jump on the bandwagon of all these fall releases and you want to eke out summer just a little bit more, I have got some great fragrances that are going to keep you in that summer mode. All of these fragrances can be worn throughout the year, but they definitely have a little bit of that summer vibe, easy to wear. And I actually often wear some of these during the winter months when I am getting the dole drums and I need fragrance to lift me out and transport me to some place that is warm and sunny. So today I thought I would share my top five end of summer fragrances. So if you're interested in learning about those, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I was recently asked what my favorite sort of citrus scent was, and I was kind of racking my brain because I don't tend to lean heavily on citrus fragrances, but there was one that came to mind. This one is a citrusy, fruity, floral fragrance that I can't really see anybody not loving. And this is from Commodity. This is Mimosa. This and opens very citrusy. It's got lemon, bergamot, blood orange, as well as mandarin orange. So very citrusy opening. And then it's got a little bit of orange blossom in here. Very sheer jasmine, so it's not super heady. Very light floral in here. There is a touch of black pepper. So it's got a light spice to it. I would not say this is spicy at all, but it does help balance out the florals and the citruses. And then in the base, you've got this creamy orris, kind of almost buttery. You've got musk and blonde wood. And the combination of this makes this like the perfect Sunday brunch with your girlfriend kind of scents. This one is perfect for the office as well. This is very fresh and uplifting. When I smell this, it actually reminds me like if you were going to go to brunch and you were going to have a mimosa, that's sort of what the opening of this fragrance smells like, just like a mimosa. So for some reason, this reminds me of like Manhattan Beach in California, like eating at a brunch spot that you can oversee the Pacific Ocean. You can see the beach, the ocean. You can see the young people um, playing volleyball on the beach. Like this is kind of what this conjures up for me. Um, just feels very uplifting, very fun spirited. And I'm imagining myself living there and having brunch with my girlfriends. Everybody's a bit giggly, a little giddy. And this is what this fragrance makes me feel like. So it is really beautiful, so easy to wear. And this one's perfect for right now as we're in the middle of August and we're eking out those last few days of summer. But as I said, you could wear this year round and very office appropriate, not too heady. You will definitely get compliments when you are wearing this one. And I'm a huge fan of commodity fragrances. I think they're a little underrated and showcase one that I feel like are no-brainers. So definitely check out Commodity Mimosa. This would be one I would categorize as a citrus fruity floral. Okay, the next one I am super excited about because I purchased my first bottle of perfume from my good friend Bisma. Many of you know Bisma as my Biologique Recherche guru, but she is also a perfume obsessed woman just like myself. And Bisma is opening up her own spa as well as she has a website going online at the end of the month. 
but Bisma is going to be selling not only skincare, but some curated fragrances. And Bisma and I spent a lot of time talking about fragrance, and she's gonna be selling one of my favorite brands, BDK. Let's see if you can see, that's my collection back there. And I was holding off on purchasing the Villa Neroli so that I could be one of her first buyers. So I couldn't wait for her website to go live and that will be happening at the end of the month. We'll be sure to give you all the details. But this new BDK launch Villa Neroli is the perfect end of summer fragrance summer fragrance it is stunning so this is another one that's going to have a little hit of citrus in here it has calabria lemon obviously neroli but i would say if you're not a neroli fan definitely check this one out of course it's got that note in here but it is balanced out with a base of vanilla like this dries down to a gorgeous vanilla scent it also has vetiver in there so slightly woody it's got patchouli labdanum and in the heart notes you're going to get a little orange blossom and rose so this one i have a sample of but my full bottle is coming from bisma and i'll leave her information below if you're like myself and you can't wait for her website to go live <laughs> then you can always reach out to her uh, messenger to her and she will get back to you but i was super excited about this fragrance because i actually am a neroli lover i've always loved joe malone basil neroli i don't know how many bottles of that I have gone through and this one is just an easy beautiful wear it's very versatile it's very easy to wear it's easy to love like it's one of those easy fragrances just like summer days should be sort of easy and fun like this is what that fragrance captures for me and it's honestly if you are a fellow vanilla fragrance lover do not bypass this one. This one you're thinking just neroli kind of freshy fragrance. This is actually in my eyes a vanilla fragrance. Like the dry down of the vanilla in this fragrance is delicious. It is so pretty. And to me, the neroli is a very much a secondary note. So this one has this sort of clean and freshness to it that you always kind of gravitate towards liking in the summer and spring months but it has this warmth from that vanilla the patchouli the vetiver the labdanum like it has a warm base to it and so the vanilla just really sort of sprung out on me when i smelled this i was like Mm, yum, like vanilla fragrance. And when I read the description from David Benedict, who's the creator of BDK Fragrances, this is basically an ode to Capri in Italy. And I've actually been there way back when in high school, but it was like my favorite place. It is just stunningly gorgeous. Definitely want to make my way back to Capri one day. Think of like the bluest turquoise blue water these ancient rock formations. I, I just remember taking sort of a boat tour. I think it was to some, I don't know if it was a lagoon. It was some famous place. I had to look it up. It was the Blue Grotto. Like I remember taking a little tour over to this ancient cave and the water was so blue and the sun was shining and Capri is amazing favorite spot I think that we went to on that little Europe trip and this is what encaptures that fragrance so so this fragrance brings back all those wonderful memories, but I also feel like this is going to be one of these great year-rounder fragrances because of that distinct vanilla note in here. It truly stands out and makes this for like a Neroli scent a little bit more special in my eyes. So I'm so excited for Bisma. I'm so excited for myself and can't wait for my bottle to show up, but definitely wanted to highlight highlight this Villa Neroli from BDK. The next fragrance that I just adore and love for the summer months is 
Love in White Summer from Creed. This one is a classic Creed floral scent. Creed has a certain DNA that I really like. It has sort of this uplifting freshness to their fragrances. Like I think of these as sort of old school classics that still stand the test of time. And this one is just one of my favorites. So I love the original version of Love in White. And this one is basically a fresh floral blend. It's got a touch of warmth. There's some creamy sandalwood in the base here, but I definitely think of this as more of my go-to floral. And the other day, or actually today I'm doing it too, I was wearing basically white and cream. So I had on like a white top, cream sweater, cream jeans, and sandals. And I was sort of like, what's the perfect fragrance that's going to go with that combo? And I went and pulled my Love in White Sun because that's exactly what I think of. Um, you could be wearing your like white linen sundress with a sun hat. And if we're going to describe fragrances within color ranges, um, love and white, clearly the white cap here. Um, again, I think of like white and cream colors and this outfit just sort of seems to lend itself to this love and white summer version. Now on a funny note, um, you know how Facebook can suggest friends to you or groups that you might want to join. And I was actually invited to the Coastal Grandmother's Aesthetic. And at first I was like, hey, I am not quite a grandmother yet, but yes, I do love that sort of coastal aesthetic definitely in my wheelhouse. And I laughed because the picture that comes up is Diane Keaton kind of wearing a full on white and cream outfit. Definitely feel those vibes with this fragrance. So another reason I love this one is there's a touch of green apple in this fragrance that has a little bit of tartness to it. It is not sharp. This is very smooth, but it has a little bit of an invigorating hit to it when you wear it. And especially when it is super hot out, this is a fragrance that I also reach for because it's going to cut through the heat a bit. So I think that green apple will sort of cut through the thickness um, that some of those hot summer days can bring on. So the notes in here are Calabrian Bergamot, Magnolia, Bulgarian Rose, then it's got this really unique Tonkin Rice note in it, Tuscan Iris, Virginia Cedar, and then in the base you've got Apple, Ambergris, and Jasmine. And the Jasmine in here is going to be a bit lighter and floatier. This is not going to be this heady and dolic Jasmine. This is very perfectly blended. And to me, this is just the classic fresh floral that I really enjoy in Creed fragrances. So if you are a fellow Creed lover and you haven't smelled the Love in White Summer version, definitely do so. This one's going to be a little bit brighter, a little bit crisper, and just so enjoyable. Okay, the next one, you guys have heard me talk about this on my channel before, but this is like my favorite tropical floral fragrance. Like, like this one is a bit more sexy, a little bit more full-bodied. Like we're getting into the swimsuit territory now. We're going to be kind of like the hot nights of summer going on dates or we're in our sexy bikinis. Not that I ever do that, but just think of that. But kind of in that genre. And this is Fragrance Dubois. This is Oud Jean Intense. And if you have not smelled this gorgeous tropical floral, definitely need to go do so. So let me spray a little bit out. Mm. Okay, guys, this one, you know, I always talk about getting drunk on perfumes because I don't actually drink, but... I do get drunk off perfumes. This is going to be my drunk perfume of this video because this is one that literally, again, will make my eyeballs roll back. It's going to just go, wow. This one's just a complete stunner. So I love this. It's going to like transport you to tropical bliss. So, so we're now going to take ourselves down to Bali. Like this one's going to be a bit more exotic. This isn't just like on coastal US. We want to go someplace a bit more exotic, like Hawaii. Hawaii, 
Bali, one of those cool places. And this one is a luscious flower balm. It also has got this beautiful kind of pineapple note in here. Like you definitely feel like it's exotic. And it's got these really heady florals in here. It's got gardenia, ylang ylang, jasmine, orange blossom, oud, and warm vanilla milk. So this one is just tropical bliss. Like literally, I love this. This is one that I also always get compliments on when I wear it because it's one of those very tropical, yummy fragrances. Although this says it's got oud in here, I don't really smell that. I just feel like this has a richness and a depth to it that the oud is giving it, but it is mostly going to be flower balm. It's going to be tropical drink. It's going to take you to Hawaii or Bali, and you are definitely feeling sexy. You might even feel like a little bit sunburned. You are happy, maybe a little giddy after having a few sips of your tropical drink. Um, and this is just happiness in a bottle, just pure joy. I love it. It is sort of my special perfume that when I am feeling that vibe, this is the one that I'm going to go for. And definitely again, you're going to get compliments when you wear this. Beer. And then last but not least, I have an old bottle, but this is Angelique Noir from Guerlain. And now they come in the new bottles that you can even customize yourself. But I wore this the other day and this fragrance is just stunning. So, so I would describe this as a fresh green vanilla and Guerlain is known for creating the best vanillas out there. And this fragrance is a stunner. Like I love it so much that I was like, you should get it in the newer bottle here, but I was going to wait till I finish up my old bottle. This is another one that I reach for a lot during the summer because sometimes when you think of vanilla fragrances, you might think of them as dense and heavy. They're usually in heavier gourmand fragrances, but this version is very fresh and green. There's a very herbal note in here from that Angelica that really lifts up this vanilla and makes it perfect for summer, but also a nice transitional fragrance as we're kind of thinking about fall. So you guys, I love this one so much. I think this might have been my first girl on. There is a subtle sophistication about all of their fragrances, kind of when you're talking about the DNA in different fragrances, like Chanel, you can smell the Chanel DNA, the Guerlain DNA, the Creed DNA. These ones always feel classy, sophisticated. I just sort of love the green note from the Angelica seeds in this vanilla fragrance. It's a really unique combination. Again, I'm a vanilla scent lover. Love all the different genres. But for summer, this is the one that I like to reach for. Mm. This is one of these addictive fragrances. It's got a little bit of woodiness in here. I believe it's got pink pepper in here. But to me, it's just this opulent vanilla, but it's got this lift from that Angelica seed, green note, fresh, uplifting, but also very sexy in its own right. So I wanted to end with Angelique Noir. So I just wanted to highlight these gorgeous fragrances, kind of eke out a few more days of summer. I'm thinking I will transition and be wanting those deeper, rich, resinous fragrances soon enough. So you guys, that concludes my Fragrance Friday. As usual, I love to hear what are you obsessing on lately? What fragrances do you kind of consider your end of summer frags that you want to ink in right now because you know you're going to be kind of transitioning to some deeper warmer fragrances once the weather cools down. Well, so, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great start to your weekend and I will be back with another video soon.